Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we have the ultimate grudge match here going on between Tekton, Gear Wrench, Snap-on, Icon, Duralast, Pittsburgh Professional, SK Tools, and Husky Tools. We're gonna see which one of these ratchets is the strongest, which one is gonna be able to take the most amount of force and abuse, and somebody's gonna take home the ultimate title of strongest ratchet. So buckle up, Keep the comments family friendly and you're in for a treat. So let's get this show on the road. So we did zero this meter out. And just so you know the accuracy on this, we're gonna roll a clip so that you know that this digital torque meter is accurate. So while I find everything truly fascinating about this video, one variance can be the digital torque meters. So I took it upon myself to head down to a local calibration facility that is A2LA accredited under ISO standards. Both of my digital torque meters tested very well within 1% variance of a certified and calibrated NIST traceable machine, and this thing was amazing. It's expensive, but I can tell you my digital torque meters are at least accurate. So starting us off is the Tekton, and we are hoping that we are going to set the bar high. We're going to go ahead and put this to 50 foot-pounds first. Then we'll take it to a hundred foot pounds. We'll take it to 150 foot pounds. Then we'll go to 200 foot pounds. Now we'll go ahead and take this ratchet to failure. The Tekton ratchet is a little bit slimmer in the shaft than the other ratchets. And we started out low and slow with this. And then once we hit about 220 foot pounds, the ratchet started feeling just a little bit different. You're gonna wanna hang tight because you're not gonna believe these results. It looks like we're not gonna be able to break this ratchet. Wow. So, that Tekton ratchet definitely has a problem. Are you kidding me? That ratchet still works? Sounds like it has not a single issue. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So the Tekton ratchet coming in at 682 foot-pounds. Unfreaking believable I don't think any other ratchet is gonna be able to match that. We'll see what we can do, but this meter does go up to 740 foot-pounds. So up next is the Gear Wrench 120 XP. So we got our 50 foot-pounds, our 100 foot-pounds, our 150 foot-pounds, Go ahead and take that to 150. We'll go ahead and take that to 200. So we're gonna go ahead and choke up on this. So all we're gonna do is get a pure anvil failure on there because we are bending the heck out of this ratchet. So very unfortunate news, we ran out of batteries on the digital torque meter. We'll review the footage and hopefully that gear wrench was at 239.5. We may need to make some corrections, but we will see. Next up, we have the Pittsburgh Professional. So we got our 50 foot pounds right out of the gate. That looks good. We got our 100 foot pounds. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying the video. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future ratchet testing videos. 150 foot pounds. <laughs> 200 foot pounds. So we'll go ahead and take this Pittsburgh professional to failure. All 
All right, so we rounded that puppy off at 215 foot-pounds. That guy's done. All right, next up we have the SK Tools. This is an older round head ratchet, and this should probably fare very, very well. But I've been known to be wrong, so stick around and keep watching to see how this SK ratchet performs. So we got 50 pounds, 100 foot pounds, 150 foot pounds, just barely got it to 207.3 foot pounds before that SK tools had a anvil failure. So lots of wear and tear on that SK tools, but it only was able to put out 207.3 foot pounds. Even that number at 207 foot pounds is completely respectable as anything over 200 foot pounds on a three eighths inch drive by hand is absolutely astronomical. So up next we have the 100 position Duralast flex head 3 8 inch drive ratchet. So we got our 50 foot pounds, no problem. 100 foot pounds. 150 foot pounds. 200 foot pounds. All right, let's go ahead and take this one to failure. Ooh, this thing doesn't want to give. What do we get on that? 256, nice little bend in that. We're gonna have to go ahead and give that a little more heave ho. We're gonna make sure that we don't cover up the flex screw on there. All right, we'll go ahead and attempt to take this one to failure again. Ooh, we had a nice break on that one. That was a nice break at 262.3 foot pounds. Yeah, we actually did not shear off that anvil but we did end up destroying the teeth. So that ratchet is definitely done. It's not having any more fight left today. So we actually had one of the paws split on that Duralast ratchet, and then that caused some excessive force and just blew out the ratchet on the bottom. Very interesting. And up next, we have the Husky Ratchet from Husky Tools that Home Depot puts out. And this ratchet has been stress tested before. And you can see up above here that it was supposed to be able to get up to 288 foot pounds. And I think that that was a little overinflated. There must have been some kind of miscalculations because I don't see how this quick release ratchet is gonna be able to get over 260 foot pounds. So at the end of the day, I think there's also a little accuracy challenge here that we're gonna see how it works, how it performs. So let's go find out. Got our 50 foot pounds, no problem. And I feel like this ratchet's gonna perform a lot like the Duralast. Got 100 foot pounds. 150 foot pounds. Take this to 200. There we got our 200. All right, so let's go ahead and take the Husky ratchet to failure. Fifty-nine foot-pounds. 
So quite impressed with the Husky shearing off that anvil at 259 foot-pounds. And that number was super different than the 288 foot-pounds, but there's variances in life all the time, so we'll let that one slide. Alrighty, we got our two contenders left. We got our Snap-on and we got our Icon. So up next is the Icon Full Chrome Polish 3 8 inch drive ratchet. You got 50 pounds, no problem. Got 100 foot pounds, no problem. Got 150 foot pounds. Hundred foot pounds, so we'll go ahead and take the icon ratchet to failure. Two hundred and seventy six point three foot pounds. That's really, really impressive. We got a clean anvil shear on that. Last but not least, we have the Snap-on Dual 80 3 8 inch drive long handle ratchet. Now again, not to split hairs, but another channel did a ratchet comparison torture test with the FHL-80A, which is the chrome handle version. They said it hit 336 foot-pounds, and I don't think we're going to be able to hit over 300 foot-pounds. But give it just a little bit, and we're going to sure as heck find out. And we'll take it up to 200 foot-pounds. So now we'll go ahead and take the snap-on to failure. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is for all the glory out there because anything over 200 foot pounds is doing its job. So we had the snap on doing a clean shear off at 292.9 foot pounds. So I know you guys were already thinking this. We are going to straighten out that Tecton ratchet and we're going to get it back in the competition because I think it's got a lot more life left in it. I spent about three to five minutes bending out that Tecton ratchet so that it would have a straight handle on it. We're going to try it again here and Man. see what it does. We can just not break that Tecton. Come on, take it on. If I would say anybody's to be a winner, I would say it's this Tecton. Holy cow. It's just handling all sorts of abuse. Well, we did deform the ratchet handle earlier. We were able to straighten it out. It was usable the whole entire time. And we are really asking a lot from these ratchets by putting the amount of force on that we are. Let's grab a new cheater bar and see if this one will finally do the job. And the Tecton taking it to 292.9 foot-pounds. All right, so the Tecton was able to have a clean shear after lots of attempts at 292.9 foot-pounds. So let's recap what our foot-pounds were and our final thoughts. So the SK tool here, this is a very old ratchet. This one came in at 207.3 foot-pounds. Pretty decent and respectable for the age of this tool and the use that it has seen. So not a bad tool there. Then we have the Pittsburgh Professional. Now if we were to open this up, it is seized up and I can tell you that we rounded off the teeth inside here, which is pretty common for the Pittsburgh Pro. I rarely, rarely see the Pittsburgh Pro have an anvil failure as the gear usually rounds off before you have any other issues with this. And next up we have the gear wrench coming in at 239.5 foot pounds, which is actually relatively low for what it is. The internal sounded okay, everything still functions, we just had that anvil failure, and I truly would have expected to see this going a little bit higher, but know that we are asking 
and expecting way more from these tools than normally typically humanly possible. And so this one is still getting a pass. The Husky from Home Depot. Now this one, again, the internals on here, they're still working. This came in at 259 foot pounds. The one thing I wanna note about the internals on the Husky are really similar to the 100 position dual paw from Duralast. Now the Husky is also a quick release where the Duralast flex head was not a quick release. And that's probably why the Husky performed just a little bit less, but still pretty strong nonetheless. Still wear nowhere near that 288 foot pounds and really fell in line with what I thought it would do. Now, out of all these eight ratchets, the next one was the Duralast from AutoZone. And here you can see that we actually cracked the pawl. And now that's the first I've ever seen of a failure like that. And my guess is, is that that cracked and then that caused the gears to round off and the tension on that just caused this to explode. All things considered, the Duralast hitting 262.3 foot pounds is outstanding. Now in third or second, depending on how you look at it, the Icon Ratchet came in at 276.3 foot pounds. Now this you can see and hear the internals, they are still undamaged and no issues with this ratchet. Selector switch still works, so not bad. And then coming in at 292.9 foot-pounds, we have both the Snap-on and the Tecton. Now the Tecton, you can hear that the internals on that are still working. So if we take a listen to the Snap-on here, that one sounds good. No issues with the internals. Last things might come down to price and options available where the Tecton ratchet is only available in the chrome handle. The snap-on comes in both comfort grip as well as chrome, but you're gonna pay for it. You might jump on over to the Icon line where you can get a full chrome polish as well as a comfort grip and gear wrench, you can get the same options there as well. So guys, really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for all you guys watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it's totally free and there's about 5,000 other people that have already hit that subscribe button. So please join the Client Graphics YouTube community and hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.